Hello everyone, in this video we'll be talking about project initiation, or in other words, how projects get started. The learning objective for this video is as follows. After watching, students should be able to understand how systems projects start and the terms associated with business process management. Let's talk about where IS projects come from. IS projects should be started to fulfill a business need. This means it could enable a new business initiative or strategy, support a merger or acquisition, or fix a point of pain. It could also utilize a new technology, although invention of a new technology is not a reason in and of itself to start an IS project. IS projects can also come as an outgrowth of Business Process Management, or BPM. Business Process Management is a methodology used by organizations to continuously improve end-to-end -end business processes. Sometimes this is formal, and sometimes people do it informally. Business process management can apply to either internal processes or, or, or processes that cross organizations. Benefits of business process management include enhanced process agility, or in other words, being able to adapt to changes in customer demands, process alignment with industry best practices, and increased process efficiencies. In other words, the point of business process management is to look at a process and the way your organization is carrying it out and see if there are ways that it can be improved. Business process management includes a four-step cycle. First, you define and map out or diagram the steps in your business process. Then you think about ways that you can improve on the steps that you've mapped out. You can also think about ways to eliminate or consolidate steps in that process that don't add value. And finally, you can create or adjust electronic workflows to match the improved process maps. Here's an example of a business process map. There are many different diagrams, tools, and techniques for mapping out business processes, but no matter how you map them out, looking at them visually can help you see more clearly where improvements can be made in your business processes. Let's use the example of a customer ordering process in talking about three different kinds of business process management techniques. The first is business process automation. In business process automation, you create or adjust electronic workflows to match the improved process maps. Or in other words, after you've mapped out your process and decided on ways to improve it, you now use electronic means and tools to automate the process. For example, let's say that your organization used paper forms when customers wanted to order a new product. If you're changing your process so that customers now use electronic means, you're doing business process automation. In business process improvement, you study out your business process, such as your customer ordering process, and then you create new or redesigned processes to improve it. This may or may not involve using new technologies that enable the new process structures. For example, maybe in your old process, customers would call into a customer service line to start their ordering process, and then a sales rep would later get in touch with them. One improvement might be having the customers contact the sales rep directly. If this is a change that your organization sees as being more efficient, then making that change in the process is known as business process improvement. The third way to use business process management to improve your business processes is business process reengineering. This means that you do a total overhaul of work processes. For example, let's say that your organization has customers facing many different departments for different customer service needs. They call a help desk for their technical issues, they call a sales rep for their sales needs, they call a marketing rep about a promotion. Let's say you decide to have your customers call one central place and store all of your customer information in one centralized database system. You completely reorganize the way that you interact with customers. This is business process reengineering. Any of these three tools, business process automation, improvement, or reengineering, could lead to significant IS projects being started. Once you see a strong business need or a requirement that you want to be filled, which may or may not be based in business process management, you need someone to step up as a project sponsor. The project sponsor is the driving force behind a project. They specify the overall business requirements, they determine the overall business value, and they formally request the project via a document called the system request. The project sponsor might be the person requesting a change, or in some cases it might not. Don't get confused, the project sponsor is not the systems analyst, nor the project manager. The project sponsor is not the one who is in charge of the project, just the one who sees the business need and is heavily involved to make sure that the project succeeds. Take a moment to pause the video and think about this question. 
Why is the IT department, or a person within the IT department, often not the project sponsor of a systems development project? Again, projects to develop new systems should be based on a business need, not just on a technology. Oftentimes, the IT department is not aware of all the needs or processes that are going on in other departments. Let's sum up. We've talked about how systems projects start from a business need. We've talked about business process management. And we've talked about a project sponsor being necessary in order for a project to succeed.